hello friends so in this video we are going to learn that how we can create a basic path animation or you can say path transition between uh, two activities so this is like a arc motion so basically we're gonna create something like this so this is a empty activity with a floating action button on top of which uh, we're gonna open a new activity and on back press the activity again uh, will collapse into the floating action button so something like this you can see this transition so this is a path uh, arc transition basically so the uh, motion followed is like in this way so this is a arc basically if you closely observe it so something like this so this is pretty simple task and we're gonna see that how we can create it using the latest material transitions uh, available in alpha stage so let's get started so first of all i have created a empty project over here uh, with a empty activity uh, but a floating action button in it and also i have the material library imported in my project so you can see it over here so uh, in this demo what we gonna need is uh, we have to use the latest alpha version of the library because uh, the task we're gonna perform is only available in alpha release as of now so to do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this version to 1.1.02 to 1.3.0 and then alpha 01 so after this just click on sync now so this will automatically add this latest dependency to our project so let the gradle tasks to complete first till the time what we can do is uh, so the task is completed so now we're gonna create another activity to which it will you know perform the transitions so this will be an empty activity so let's name it as compose activity because this is a composition screen for a new message so by default this activity should be empty like this so now what we're gonna do is we can add any of our design over here so uh, let's give a material toolbar over here like this match parent wrap content and start to start off will be parent sorry uh, end to end off will also be parent top to top off will be parent and also the navigation icon should be back icon so um, we'll have to first uh, add that back icon over here so just go to the vector icon and uh, just type it back over here select this icon next finish and now uh, the new icon is imported over here so just type the name of the icon that is arrow back like this so this will automatically add it over here so uh, let's go to the design view only yeah like this so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna add another uh, layout items like let's say uh, we have a text field so uh, we'll provide a text input layout over here match parent wrap content and uh, top to bottom of property will be uh, referring to the id of toolbar itself but we haven't given it any id yet so let's define the id over here toolbar and the same id can be given to this like this and start to start off will be parent and to end off will be parent we'll also add a margin let's say 10 dps and we'll keep the hint to be email let's say email and hint enabled will be true so inside this text input layout we're gonna add a new um, you can say text input edit text uh, which will actually be useful for interacting with the user so now our app content and we can simply close this over here like this okay so this is not looking good but uh, what we can do is we can uh, simply add a style to our layout so we'll use the style property and the style in our case will be material components and or you can simply type it like outline outline box dot dense yeah the style is fine now so something like this will be created over here 
and now what we gonna do is uh, we're gonna add another text input layout so let's say uh, we'll first give it a ID let's say text input email oh sorry text to input email over here and now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create another text input layout let's say text input password and now this will accept a password from a user so the top to bottom of property will refer to this id because this view or uh, text input layout should be placed in the bottom of this previous layout so it will be not toolbar it will be the text input email like this so we are done till now so what we have created is uh, we have created a toolbar we have created two text fields uh, so uh, we are not going to focus on any design perspective in this case but we are going to focus only on the uh, transitions that we're gonna use in our app okay so first of all uh, we need that on click of this button uh, we need to open this compose activity so go to your main activity and uh, what you can do is you can simply add a click listener to this floating action button so this is giving us error uh, why this is giving us such error so let's remove all these things over here fab dot mm, this is not getting imported automatically so let's try to change the id floating action button uh, maybe something wrong with the tool itself or what's wrong so this is not referring to any property so what we can do here is we can simply use the find view by id so this will be uh, floating action button in our case and r dot id dot floating action button so we can add a set on click listener over here like this so yeah this is pretty simple task that we have created a click listener then what we'll need to do is we need to open this activity so we will define an intent for this purpose so let's say well intent equal to new intent um, and the first parameter will be this uh, basically this is the context and second will be our compose activity dot class dot java and now what we can do is we can simply call the start activity and uh, we pass the intent over here so what this will do is this will uh, just start the new activity but this will not do you know any kind of transitions or anything this will simply uh, use the default systems transition to uh, just open that particular activity but what we want is that uh, we want this arc path motion to be implemented so to do that we need to make some uh, additional changes uh, but those are small number of changes so uh, let's uh, just run our application to see that how it looks without enabling any of the transitions so let's wait for the activity to be started it is installing and yeah so if we click on this button you can see that simply this activity is open but you know uh, there is no transitions between these activities like this so we need to uh, to do enable these transitions we need to do some small changes so first of all uh, the very basic thing is we need to define the transition names to our um, ui elements so we need that this fab should uh, you know um, expand to the new activity so we'll uh, give it a transition name over here like uh, let's say shared element to compose and similarly uh, we need to give the same transition name to the component where we want this transition to happen so this button should get expanded to this whole layout so we'll give this a uh, this the same transition name and also we'll provide it with the id let's say um, container like this okay so now the other thing required to do is that uh, we need to do some additional you can say changes to our uh, way of calling this 
intent and calling the start activity we need to pass a shared element uh, options basically to do that what we need to do is uh, we will create a new variable over here so let's say options equal to so here we will use the activity options compat dot now uh, we will uh, use the make scene transition uh, animation so this is the property uh, which we require so the first element is the activity itself that is this the second element is the view from where we are uh, gonna do this transition so in this case uh, what we can do is we can simply uh, add this to a view a new variable let's say well fab equal to this so now we can simply use this fab as a view so now the third parameter is the actual transition name so we can use this fab dot transition name over here so this is all uh, to create uh, our transition options so now uh, sorry what we need to do is uh, we're gonna pass this option as a second parameter to our start activity method so this will give us a error like this so what we need to do is we need to make a small change uh, that is we need to call this true bundle which will convert this to uh, bundle which is supported by this uh, you can say the function start activity now we will uh, require uh, to do a small change in our compose activity that is uh, before calling any of these set content view what we need to do is we need to give a, our window a new flag basically these flags are all uh, the only given to the uh, activity before the before setting the actual layout okay so here what you can do is you can simply type window dot and here you can uh, call the feature uh, like request feature so you are requesting a new feature uh, for this particular window so window dot flag mm, this is giving me a sorry window dot feature not flag window dot feature activity transitions like this okay so remember that this should be given uh, before calling any of these method before calling the super method and before calling the set content view otherwise it will give you a runtime exception so now the second thing is uh, we need to build our transition so to do that we need to create a new function over here so let's say function or give it a private function build transitions so now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, return something uh, basically a material container transform so we'll use the return keyword so after that just type in material container transform and here you can see that uh, this is giving us two suggestions so we'll use the one provided by this transition dot platform package okay like this so after that you can use the apply option here so here first we need to add the target itself so it is accepting a view or id so in our case the target will be our container okay to which we want this transition to happen so we'll add uh, sorry we'll add r dot id dot container to our add target method and then what we will do is uh, we will also give it a duration so let's say we want to give it a duration of 400 milli millisecond so this will be fine and the other option is path motion so this is basically uh, where we define that this uh, the animation should be in a arc motion okay so to do that we will define material arc motion so uh, this should also be from the package transition dot platform itself okay like this and after that uh, we can define the interpolator um, basically uh, uh, we will use this as a let's say fast out slide uh, slow in so basically this will be uh, telling our animation that it should be you know uh, it should start with a fast time and get slower when it reaches to the end okay so this is how it behaves and then the fade mode will be like let's say uh, material 
container transform dot fade in fade mode in okay so this is giving us some error that um, the function return type should be changed so just alt enter change the return type like this and the error will be gone and also there's a typo error over here yeah so this is all for the function and now what we we'll need to do is uh, sorry there is still an error yeah so not error basically a warning of the you know wrong spelling so now what we gonna do is uh, we need to add a callback uh, to our um, you can say the uh, on create method so first we'll cut this super method and paste it after that and after this set content view we need to set a new callback so set enter shared element callback so we will use the material Trans, uh, material container transform shared element callback over here so nothing else uh, we're not gonna define anything custom so now what we need to do is uh, we're gonna tell that the shared element enter transition uh, should be this transition we have created over here so build transitions okay similarly uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna define a new uh, as a exit transition should also be our build transition and um, let's define the re-enter transition also so this should also be build transition so we don't need to define uh, all of these but uh, we are defining them so just to be safe okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, run our application so now it should actually do this transition uh, in a way that we want so let's click on this fab yeah so you can see like this so uh, you can see that uh, it is giving us some bad effect over here so the fab would be very large like this so this is because we have to uh, define something else over here too so to do that uh, what we can do is uh, we can simply add set all containers color method uh, inside our material container transform so now what we can do is uh, we can use our um, context compare dot get color so here we can define like um, the first parameter will be context which is this and the second parameter is uh, the color what we need to uh, give to our you can say uh, layout uh, that is going to open okay so uh, let's say android dot r dot color dot white okay so what this will do is this will automatically add a background color to our properties so now when we'll open this this will be giving us a white uh, you can say color effect uh, which is looking bad because we are currently on a uh, dark theme so for that uh, how we can fix that is uh, we can use the material colors uh, rather than this context color uh, uh, so now uh, the first parameter is actually the view itself so here we will add this view to do that uh, we need to call our find view by id find view by id and here we will give the id and now um, the second parameter of uh, this function is actually the color uh, which we will use the r dot uh, we'll use the attributes color let's say colors surface so it should also automatically pick up the correct color based on the theme so let's run our application so this should fix the issue that we uh, is happening currently so let's tap on here yeah so you can see that that issue is fixed but still there are some glitches some lag or you can say uh, those kind of stuff because uh, you know this is in pretty alpha stage and not so stable so uh, i recommend to not use it in the production app itself but this should work for your demos or if you want to learn something new uh, coming up so once this is finalized and added in the uh, stable version so um, i hope that these lags uh, should not be there so see you in next video uh,